vision session for you. We hope we be able to help you in your coming exam, God willing. At the beginning, let me introduce my colleagues in the studio. Ms. Sana Ismail, English language teacher, Damascus Directorate. Hello. Ms. Nasreen Saqbani, English language teacher, Damascus Directorate. Thank you. And Mr. Mazin Abdul Karim, English language teacher, Damascus Countryside Directorate. And me, senior supervisor and coordinator of English curriculum, Abdul Majid Ogar. Uh, we're going to start with the grammar you passed in your books. Uh, Ms. Russia is going to help us to go to the next slide. We're going to start with used to and would. Ms. Sana, will you please tell the students about these two words? Okay, first of all, we are, start, uh, we are going to start with used to and would. Mm -hmm. When we talk about habitual actions and states that happened in the past, we use used to and would. First of all, with used to. Used to is the affirmative form. And didn't used to is the negative form. Uh, used to <coughs> is used with states, state and active verbs to talk about habits that was frequent in the past but not anymore. Talks about a habit that yes. was frequent in the past but stopped, not it's, anymore. It's not happening now. Okay, for example, I used to love kittens when I was a child. I used to swim in the river before we move to Damascus. Well, would, I, used, I used to love kittens when I was a child. Yes. I used to swim in the river before we moved to Damascus. Everything was habits. Mm -hmm. Everything was habits, but in the past. Yeah, sure. And uh, actually, I say everything is because every text is not R for grammar. This is not for the students, for the people who are following us. Miss. Uh, Nisreen, mm -hmm. will you please continue? Uh, have to. Uh, next slide, please. Could, uh, before we move to the next slide, did mm -hmm. we talk about the question form and what kind of uh, verb we use with the question form? No. Actually, used mm -hmm. to is the affirmative, as you said, and the negative is didn't, didn't use. use to. Mm -hmm. The question is, did you use to? Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the yes. next uh, could, slide. The using of could, couldn't, uh, was, were able to. Uh, you know that uh, could is the past of mm -hmm. verb can. Past of can. Yes, and, uh, but uh, in our uh, book, uh, we only uh, concentrate on the using of could as a general ability or possibility. Yes, like in the past. I could ride horse in the past. This I is could ride an a horse. ability. Uh, the the using of uh, was or were able to, of course, was with uh, I, he, she, it, and were uh, with the you, we, they. Uh, it's the same, but about particular situation. Like, for example, the horse was running fast, but I was able to control it. So, in this situation, I used was able to, not could. So I will summarize. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not a big difference between yes. could and was or were <coughs> able to. But if you are talking about ability or possibility in general, mm -hmm. we use could. If you are talking about one particular mm -hmm. occasion, we use was mm -hmm. or were able to. Thank so you the so idea much. is that we want our students to know that we have two meanings which deliver uh, the meaning of ability in the past, could and mm -hmm. be able to. And I will comfort them mm -hmm. in the exam. Mm -hmm. They will not have a question to choose between could or yes. was able to. Mm -hmm. We always told them that yeah. because they are confused it is a little just, bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. It is just to make them know the slight difference between these two words. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the exam, it will be much easier than they think. Mm -hmm. or than they expect. Yes. They may have to choose between two words, but mm. the only option will be either could alone mm. or was able alone, not together to choose, mm. to or choose between, between was them. and were. Yes, was or were. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, following slide, Ms. Resha, please. Mr. Mazin Abdul Karim yes. should, must, and had. Yes, uh, 
first of all, should must have two are auxiliary verbs. Verse. Yes. Or they call uh, them model, model. models. So must is used with someone who has authority. Authority, yes, power, a father to his child, a teacher to his student, or a doctor to his patient. Mm -hmm. Example, a father to his son, you must be home, you must be home before 10. So this is uh, authority because the father, he has the authority, uh, yes, in the yes. family. Mm -hmm. Also, we have have to, which is used to tell someone's order or for a public law. Mm. Example, I have to be home before 10. You have to wear a uniform. So this is, uh, let me say, this is authority, but this is from the law. Mm -hmm. So I cannot go to school without a uniform. I'm public, not allowed. A public rule. Yes, yes, a public rule. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, also, we have should, which is used to as an advice uh, mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. you should uh, go to the doctor because I feel you are just ill or you should go to bed early you shouldn't also if we want to advise someone not to do mm -hmm. something we say you shouldn't smoke you shouldn't go to bed late yes. thank you so much you can that's do it or not it. yes that's mm -hmm. it so when it is should not obligation yes. the so other person can do or not do it I will summarize, mm -hmm. as Mr. Mazin yes. said, uh, if you have the power, the authority, mm -hmm. you can say must. Mm -hmm. As you said, father to son, doctor to patient. Mm -hmm. Have to is when you report, when you re-say someone else's order. Mm -hmm. So my father told me not to be late. He says, my father says, you must be home before 10. Mm. I want to tell Mr. Mazen Abdul Karim mm. what my father ordered me. I say I have to. Mm. So you if report. Uh, I report someone yes. else's mm. must, which has authority. So usually we don't use must if we don't have authority. If we are two students, mm -hmm. it's impolite in, in British way to mm. say you must. Mm. It means I have authority on you. Mm. In the exam, what the students need to know that must is strong. It is used with someone has power on another one. Have to is to re-say this order mm -hmm. or to talk about public rule like you have to wear a uniform. And must, uh, we don't use it when we uh, need, uh, want something personally? Strong advice to yourself. Mm, when you no, want to like give. like when I, uh, I, I, I must, uh, it's my mom per day and I must buy her a present. This is a strong advice to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we use must as a strong advice, but it will be clear that it's advice like what? Mm. When I say I saw a nice film, this is not for grade nine, but we will mention yes. it. Yes. Mm. When, when I say I saw a very nice film yesterday, you <coughs> must watch it. Mm -hmm. Here it's a strong advice, mm -hmm. not for grade nine, mm. but this is one of the usages. Yes, you are right. Mm. For the students, again, we comfort them. You are, they are not going to choose between must and have to. Yes. We are because here just are to tell them. Yes. To each one. Uh, mm. Just to show them that must and have to have the same meaning, mm. but must is used by someone who mm. is very strong and has authority mm. on the mm. others have to is to retell the order of someone mm. who has the authority. Mm. Should is just kind of advice. It's up to you. You can do it or not. Must mm. and have to, they are obligatory words mm. and the other person needs to fulfill them. Mm -hmm. Should, not necessary. Yes. It is my advice. You mm. can do or you cannot do mm. it. Uh, the following slide, Ms. Rasha, please. Reported speech with Ms. Sana. Okay, thank you. First of all, let me define the reported speech. The reported speech is uh, when you tell someone what other people said. Yes. Uh, to do this, uh, we need to use the direct speech or the reported speech. For example, um, I work in a bank, said Ali. It's a direct speech. Mm -hmm. But when we say, uh, Ali said, I worked in a bank, it's a reported speech. Okay, in a direct speech, we often go one tense back. And in the reported, yes, in the reported, in the reported speech, speech, we go one, we, tense, we, one back. tense back. And we need to change some words in the sentence. Okay, we report someone saying, starting with he said or he told. This is introductory. 
Yes. Uh, we Either we, he said or she said or they said. Yeah. So we report using the simple past tense. Mm -hmm. He said. That's why we change the direct mm -hmm. sentence one tense back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The present becomes mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. and, and the, the past, past becomes past, past perfect. perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. We go in the reported speech one uh, tense be before, back. Before we move, difference okay. between he said and he told. Okay. Told uh, needs, told an, needs object. an object. Told needs an object, but say mm -hmm. doesn't need an object. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the present become past. Uh, for example, I'm hungry becomes he said he was hungry. We change the pronoun. I becomes she or he. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Possessive pronouns. My becomes your. So the changing, Miss Sana, the changing of the pronoun is determined by the beginning, the introductory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it is she said she, mm. he said he. he. We, mm. we they said change, they. Yes. We, like we, this. We don't change mm. this. Okay, possessive pronouns, my becomes your, your becomes my, possessive or pronouns his, are changed. or her, and so on. Mm. Everything near becomes far. Yes, exactly. W because we change we time and place references also. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, next, Ms. Resha, please. Excuse me, Mr. Yes. S but uh, students should know that we have four pronouns uh, which do not change uh, whoever the speaker uh, is reporting the speech. For example, he, she, it, they. For example, uh, in a direct speech, uh, the, uh, uh, let me say, he played uh, tennis. Uh, in direct speech, they said, or she said, he, play, he had played tennis. So we, we don't change these pronouns. Thank you very much. Mm. It depends on the situation. Yes, the situation. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for this clarification. Mm. Uh, Ms. Uh, Nasreen, mm -hmm. if you tell us about the Time. things change usually, everything here and here becomes far. Mm -hmm. For example, now. Now becomes then. Then. Uh, here becomes there. This uh, become that. That. Become that. Today. That, that day, day, tomorrow become the next day. Or the following day. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday becomes the day before. Yes, so everything because here are should be changed to be far. Because we are reporting, not speaking now or at the moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we move to too much, too many, mm -hmm. more and enough with Mr. Mazin. Yes, yes. Uh, we know that too much uh, is used with uncountable nouns, and the student should know that uncountable nouns are nouns which we cannot, or which have, which have only one, uh, one uh, form of the, uh, of the word. For example, ice, water, are uncountable nouns. Cannot be used Can't, in the plural. Yes, cannot be used in the plural. Countable nouns, uh, nouns which can be used mm. in the plural form yeah. or has plural form. Uh, we use too much with uncountable nouns, uh, meaning more than okay. We use too many with uh, countable nouns, mm. meaning more than okay. Too means very in a negative way. For example, students, for example, should know that, uh, for example, I cannot. I cannot drink this. Uh, I cannot drink uh, this tea because it's too hot. Mm -hmm. So too hot, it has negative meaning. Mm -hmm. I yes, cannot yes. at all drink it. Mm -hmm. Whereas very hot, you can drink. It's hot, but you can drink mm -hmm. it. Exactly. Two plus thank adjectives. You, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for this clarification. Mm -hmm. When you say very or mm -hmm. so, it means it is. Mm -hmm very, mm. but we still can do it or we can drink mm. it. I will give an example like Mr. Mazin said. Mm. When I say the bag is very heavy, mm. it's very heavy, but still I can carry mm. it. But if I say it's too heavy, so I, can't. I cannot carry it. Mm. Uh, enough. Yes, uh, we use enough after an adjective, uh, but before, before a noun. No. For example, you know, I, uh, for example, about the adjective, uh, it's, I am not tall I'm, enough. I'm not tall enough to, to reach the to ceiling. Reach the, the ceiling. Mm. Yes, thank you. But mm. we say we, we don't say have enough chairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So usually we, enough comes before the noun mm. but and after, after mm. the, the adjective. adjective. 
but uh, there is something I want to mention. In our book, uh, enough comes in most of the sentences with the negative form. Yes. But yes. of course, we can use it in the positive. But in, in the ninth grade book, mm -hmm. uh, they used it only with negative. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for saying this, mm. because usually teachers teach yeah. the students how to solve <laughs> yes. the puzzle of exam, mm. forgetting about the usage of the grammar. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are right. Mm -hmm. uh, more? Yeah. More, we use more for another amount or quantity. For example, I need more, more water, more, more time, time, more time, more practice. Yes, uh, it, it can be used with countable and uncountable nouns. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next, Ms. Risha. We come now to the definite and indefinite articles and some old and many missana start with A okay. and N. Uh, I will start with uh, A or N uh, with singular countable uh, indefinite nouns uh, of which there are more than one and mentioned for the first time. So if I mention this, the, this yes. summarizes the rule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Singular, indefinite, countable, indefinite. indefinite. Of which there are more than one, mm. and mentioned for the first time, students will notice later that when it is plural, we don't use a. Mm. When it is definite, we use the, not the. a. Mm. When we have only one, mm. we use the. Mm. And when it is mentioned a second time, we will use a. So the. the rule is summarized in the first yeah. usage. Singular, Singular. countable, countable indefinite. indefinite. Nouns. And used for the first time. Mm. Mm. Thanks. For example, give me an apple. Give me an apple. Okay, uh, we use a uh, with consonant. I am a teacher, you mm -hmm. are a student. Okay, yes. let me add a uh, is used with consonant, uh, consonants, and we use an and with uh, the nouns that start with uh, a vowel. Thank you very much. So a, when the word starts with a consonant, we use a, uh, uh. and when the word starts with a vowel, we use an, and the vowel is the sound, not the name. Yeah. Because you, Sometimes it is not a vowel when we say United Nation. Yes. Yeah. We don't say an United University. Yeah, sure. University. Mm. This is so not the it is the sound a. Uh. We mean vowel mm. by the mm. sound a. Uh. Mm. If not it is a. Uh, the, the, the letter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, like let's, the, uh, let's move to the. Mm -hmm. yes. with, with a noun of which there is only one of it in the universe or. Uh, the country or the place, for example, the sun, the moon, the sun, the moon, the, the earth, president, yeah. yes. in the classroom, the teacher, yes. the board, the yes. United States. Here we have the compound, <laughs> compound <laughs> noun. <Okay. laughs> we use it with the compound nouns. When uh, the name of the country is more than one word, we use that. The United Kingdom, mm. the United but States. But there is uh, just one United States. We have no, one United the States word in United all the States. universe. Mm. Yes, but we, no. we meant this is uh, the usage. Of course, we said when, with a noun when we have only one, but we have a lot of usages. For example, when a noun is mentioned a second time, mm -hmm. we use that because it is clear. Mm -hmm. With the musical instrument, yeah. we I use the, the piano. I play the piano. Yeah. Uh, when uh, in the classroom, because by reason of locality, we use that because when we have only one thing, we have one table here, for example. Mm. We say, put it on the table. Mm. And for the students, so that they know which to use in the exam. Mm. If they put the, and they see that the listener will say which one, mm. that is not used. So mm -hmm. when we use the, it's very clear for the listener that the listener knows which one is talked about. If I say, I bought the car, Mm -hmm. The listener will say, which car? Yes. Mm -hmm. But if I say, I bought a car, then I say, the car is red. Mm -hmm. He knows which one is we red. It first, I mentioned yeah. it the, the first time. Yeah. When I say, look at the sun, we have only one sun. But when we say, with names of countries, when they are compound, not one word, we use that. Mm -hmm. So every country, which is two or three words, we use the yeah. with it. Yes. This is a rule so yeah. that they know. I yes, live Mr. in Van Syria. Morrison. I live in Syria. My brother lives in the United States. Sometimes we okay. can use the, mm. and this is again not for the students, mm. this is a general uh, grammar. Mm. If we are talking about a, a, a name of a country or a city in a specific way, for mm. example, I lived 
for example, for 10 years in Britain. Mm. Then I come back to Damascus, everything is changed. Mm. I can say, this is not the Damascus I know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So in right. this situation, we Excuse can use me. that in general. Someone asks, uh, why uh, we don't use and with United? Because United, we talked about yeah. it. United, we say, we mean by vowel, the sound a. Mm. Because it is difficult to say a apple mm. or a orange. We say an apple, an orange. When it is United States, U is vowel in the name, but the sound is not a. Mm -hmm. So we use an only if the vowel sound is a. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. hope this is enough. Mm -hmm. There is the, about uh, the, the negative. present perfect. No, about enough, which we won't mentioned. Uh, why we use enough only with negative? No, we don't. Of course, we can use it with positive and negative. We can say, I have enough time to talk to you. Yes. It's okay. Mm. But in the book, in the book that's it happened that it, it is happened. mentioned with yes. the negative. Mm. And in the exam, it will be, it will be very clear. For yes. example, mm. Uh, we may say there isn't space food to eat. Mm -hmm. Here we can use there isn't enough or there or isn't any. much or there isn't any. Mm. So enough can be used this way. So it will be very easy in the exam. Just we are here to explain the usage in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. Other questions? No. Well, About the present perfect? Welcome. We will talk about it in Later. this session, God willing. Mm. Where did we stop? Uh, some. We use some uh, with plural noun and uncountable nouns. We use some with plural nouns and, and uncountable counts. nouns. It's not no. used with singular, singular. nouns. Mm. We don't say, I have some pen. Either we say some pens or some water, some mm. ice cream. Mm. Next, Miss Rasha, we continue. Miss mm. uh, Nasreen. Yes. Uh, now all. we uh, we go to all. Uh, all means every, with countable and uncountable. So it's easy to use it because it comes with countable and uncountable. All the houses the in our street. The difference is when all is used with uncountable, the verb is singular, mm -hmm. and when it is used with the plural, countable plural, it is plural verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the houses in our street are, are old, old fashioned. fashioned. All transport on the island is provided by so horses. So here it's is because transport is, is uncountable. uncountable. Yeah. So yes. we said is provided mm. by. In the first example, the houses uh, is a plural. Plural, yes. Uh, and as for ma many, many, we use many with a plural countable nouns. Mm -hmm. uh, many people move to the cities uh, from the countryside to work. Sometimes they say many is used only in questions, not in the positive, but no, no we can use it. Maybe sometimes in the book it is mentioned in the question, mm. it's okay. The meaning is few. less than a lot of, yes. more than a few. Mm. Yes. The present perfect tense, which someone asked about it, now we are going to talk about the present perfect. Yes. Mr. Mazen Abdul Karim. Yes, the present perfect tense we have, first of all, the form, the affirmative form, which is the subject, plus have or has, it depends on the subject, yes. and plus the past participle, which is, you know, in just the Arab word known as verb, verb three, three, plus, you complement. know, the rest or the complement. Example, I have just eaten lunch. She has almost finished cleaning the house. But number so two. these are indicators, almost yes. and just are indicators mm. for the present yes. perfect. The question form. Yes, uh, the question form have, has, plus the subject, plus verb, verb three and complement. Yes, the complement. Example, have you eaten lunch yet? So we use yet with questions yes, question and negatives. negative. Mm -hmm. Has he written a letter? Uh, number three, the negative form, which is the subject plus have uh, or has <coughs> plus not plus verb three. So uh, nothing to be changed, just only we put not after have or has. Example, I haven't done my homework yet. She has never played, played tennis. Uh, student should notice that 
haven't. Mm. It, it, yes, it is the contraction form of have not. Hasn't, it is has not. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for saying them correctly for the pronunciation. Uh, I hear a lot of people say hasn't and haven't. It's wrong to say hasn't or haven't. It's haven't and hasn't. The stress is on the first syllable. The use, Ms. Sana, the use of the present okay, perfect. Okay, the use. Uh, the present perfect is an action that happened at an indefinite time in the past or continued. We or, mean by began, indefinite, the yes. time is not mentioned. Okay, or began in the past and continued to the present. When an action happened in the past, the exact time is not mentioned, mm -hmm. when the exact time is not mentioned, and we talk about it now, or we see the result now. So we need to have connection between the present and the, and the yeah. action. Mm. If we don't have connection, for example, even if, uh, let me summarize, something done in the past. Mm -hmm. If we have yesterday, we use the simple past. If we don't have the word yesterday, the time is not mentioned, we use the, we present, use the present perfect, perfect the same situation, the mm -hmm. same meaning. Yeah. But when we don't have connection, I mean if someone is dead, mm. so this dead person has no connection with the, the present. Present, yeah. And we want to say that he wrote mm. something, we cannot say Shakespeare has written mm. Hamlet. Because Even if we don't have a, re a mentioned time. Mm. When we don't have connection, we use the simple past tense, we say Shakespeare Road, because the Hamlet. action is not related with the present. Yes, so we need to have a relation with the present. Yeah. Another mm -hmm. example which is very clear, for example, the old Egyptian uh, has, uh, the old Egyptian have built uh, pyramids. Uh, this is wrong because the Egyptian, the old, they, uh, yes, they, they are, yeah. yes, they, they are dead now. The old Egyptians, yes. yes uh, the old died. Egyptian built the pyramids. Yeah. Exactly. Here we have an example. Somebody has painted the door. Uh, in this case, we use already, just, and yet. For example, these I, are the key words. Yes, the adverbs that uh, go with the present perfect. I have just eaten lunch. My father hasn't come yet. Has uh, your father come yet? I haven't. I, I have uh, already written an email. Thank you. Next, Thank you. Ms. Rasha. Yes. Uh, Ms. Nisreen is going to continue the difference between mm. the present perfect and the simple past. Yes. This is very this is important. The main idea we always, uh, this is the main idea we always uh, teach our uh, students uh, about, uh, uh, we, we teach them per the present perfect in contrast with the past because the two actions are, the same. are completed. Yes. But in the past simple, uh, there is time reference. But in the present perfect, there is no, no time, time reference. reference. Exactly. So the difference is uh, the time in the simple past is known. While well, in the present, in the present perfect, perfect, the time is not known, but both happened before now. Exactly. Thank you so much. Yes. The past perfect tense. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mazin, yes. Abdul Karim. Yes. The past perfect tense, first of all, the, the form, the affirmative, which is the subject plus had, plus verb three and the complement. Mr. Mr. Abdul Karim, before we move on, mm -hmm. actually, we didn't mention it for grade nine, mm. but actually we have extra usage for the present perfect tense. Sometimes we use it when something happened in the past, continued without stop till the present, and may continue in the future. In this case, we don't use already, just, or yet. We but use this is since. the present perfect continuous. No, the present perfect simple, simple is used with since and for with the meaning like the present perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. And thank you for saying this mm -hmm. because when we, we have stated. since, when we have mm -hmm. since or for, mm -hmm. both tenses, the present perfect and the present perfect continuous mm -hmm. are correct. Yes. Thank you. Well, they mean, talk about something started in the past, mm -hmm. continued till the present, like and I, may I, continue I have in the known future. my friend. I have known my, my friend for 10 years. So or I know it since and I, I was still a kid. know it and I will... Uh, Here, in your se uh, sentence, mm -hmm. we cannot use the continuous one because no mm -hmm. is a state verb, cannot be used in the... Mm -hmm. And we are not going to confuse mm -hmm. the grade 9 students. Yeah, do, someone we, asked do we have a question? Yes, we have a question. Mm -hmm. All the some come a missing word? Yes. It's a question. Yes. Sure. Actually, the missing words are functional. functional words. It can functional be a pronoun, words. an article, a relative pro pronoun, a tenses, about tenses. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So it is functional, not nouns, mm -hmm. not main verbs. Not main verbs. Not nouns, not mm. main verbs. And I want to add uh, that uh, it is only a word. Yeah, one uh, word. The, the student, uh, they have <laughs> to know that it's one word only. Yeah. It's not, not difficult. It's a missing right. word. <laughs> word, yeah. only one word. One word, yes. Mm. Uh, yes, continue, Mr. Yes, okay. uh, we were talking about past the perfect. Past perfect. Example, I had eaten breakfast before I went to school. Yes, uh, I had eaten breakfast yes, before Yes, a student, I went to you know, should know that the past perfect has to do with two action took place in the past, but one of them just, be, just happened before another. The first action, the first activity that happened in the past, uh, that happened, it's going to be past perfect, and the second one is simple past. Thanks. Ex so both are simple past, Yeah. but one happened before the other. Yes. Just to show which one happened first, yes. we put that happened first in the past perfect, mm -hmm. And that happened later in the simple past. But both are simple past. past tenses. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. Question. question? Yeah. Yes. Question form had plus subject plus verb three and the complement. Example. Had he eaten breakfast before he went to school? Okay. Number three, negative form, which is subject plus had. Again, Bla it's about breakfast. Yes. Yes. Uh, plus it, makes, plus it makes you feel hungry when you take it. <laughs> no, after, I, I think after the seminar, seminar, Mr. Majid will invite us. God willing. <laughs> God willing. God willing. <laughs> so example, uh, I hadn't eaten breakfast before I went to school. Thank you. Next, Ms. Resha and Ms. Sana is going to talk about the use, the use. of the past perfect tense. Yeah. When we talk about two actions in the past with a period of time between them, we put that happened now, first. Thank you for mentioning a period of time. Because yeah. sometimes, even if we have five actions happening, one following the other, without a period of time, we call this succession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we have succession, we put all verbs in the simple past. Like what? I pointed to a taxi. It stopped. I got into it and it took me to the airport. All actions are in the simple past because we don't have a period, a period of, time of time between them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to use the past perfect, we need to have a period of time between the two actions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here we show which one happened. Mm -hmm. When we have succession, succession is not for grade nine, but I think a lot of people are watching us, so we are explaining. For grade nine students, we want them to know that when we have two actions, we have a period between them, one happened before the other, we put that happened first in the past perfect, and that because happened later in the simple past. past. Yes, continue. Okay, we put that happened first in the past perfect tense, and that happened second in simple past tense. For example, I had eaten breakfast before I went to school. Yeah, thank you. Next, Ms. Resha. Who and which with Ms. Nesreen, which one is used for people, which one is used mm. for things? Who and which are relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. We use And who. they can be used as question words. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but uh, to, uh, uh, to relate the two sentences together, mm -hmm. we use them as relative they pronouns. They connect yes. a clause or a phrase with a noun or a pronoun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so who uh, with people? Uh, Mr. Hamdan, who has got a lot of experience, is a doctor. This is a relative clause, yes. and it is a non-defining relative clause. Mm. Uh, here the clause, uh, who has got a lot of experience, is the relative clause. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can separate it. We can say Mr. Hamdan is a doctor, and the exactly. meaning is clear. Because it is non-defining. So he, because it is non-defining, it's an extra information. Excellent. Uh, also which, we use it to With mention things. Things. The museum, which is in the city center, is very interesting. Also here the relative clause is, the clause with which, which is in the city center, we can uh, delete it and say the museum is very, it's interesting. very interesting. So here, another example here, Damascus, which is the we, capital we have, of Syria. We have a missing eye here, mm. which is? The capital of Syria has lovely traditional houses. Some students, uh, get confused with the word D Damascus because it is a place. Yes. So we said, why don't we use Damascus where 
because where is another relative pronoun mention uh, place. Yeah. But here Damascus, uh, we, we are not using it as a place. Uh, using it as a, a thing. Mm -hmm. We can say Damascus is the city where, where I, I was born. Mm -hmm. Yes, where here I is the When place. we use it as a place, we use where. Mm. And when we use it as a thing, mm -hmm. we use which, yes. Here we are using it as a noun. Uh, the last example, Samia's uncle and aunt who are coming to visit us live in the UAE. Uh, here the Samia's Arabian. uncle and aunt uh, uh, person. So the summary is who people. for people, which for things. Mm, this is what we, uh, all what uh, we need We from come to the time phrases with Mr. Mazen Abdul Karim as soon as, when, until, before, after. Mm -hmm. Usually we use them with the simple present to mean future. Mm -hmm. Mr. Abdul Karim. Yes, we use these words with the simple present tense or simple past tense uh, to form time close. Time closes, yes. The time close is a sentence which has adverb close of time plus subject plus verb. Mm. Example, when I study, this is a time close. Mm. Yeah. For example, uh, example, Ahmed cannot play computer games until he finishes his homework about uh, as soon as, as soon as you arrive, please call me. When you finish your homework, you can go out. Before you go out, please, uh, please turn the light off. After spending too much time playing computer games, Selma had a terrible headache. Here students should know, uh, dear colleagues, dear students, that when we have simple past, uh, we have time close simple past. We usually complete the sentence by using simple past. When we have uh, time close uh, and usually a simple present, usually the completion is, or we can complete the sentence by using simple present or the future. Thank you so much. Actually, this is for the baccalaureate students more than the nine grade. Mm -hmm. But thank you very much. Yes, it is a hint. Mm -hmm. As teacher used to give them the hint how to solve the problem. <laughs> When the beginning is the present, complete it in present or future. Yes. Mm. When the beginning is past, complete it in past forms. Thank you very much uh, for saying this. No, Mr. Majid, this is also uh, has to do with the ninth grade because some uh, in the brackets where, with the question concerning the tenses, usually sometimes they have uh, time close and the completion. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Miss Sana, conditional sentences, type two, grade nine, they don't have okay. type three. Okay. They have only type two. Type Let's one and type two. Type one is mentioned. Mm. Uh, in the past, they had type three as mm. well, mm. but it is deleted now for grade nine. Mm. They only have to do with type one and type two. So, but so. since it's concentrated on type two, oh. mm. We just mentioned type two because mm. type one is taken before grade nine. Yes, it oh, is a kind so of revision. Kind of revision, yeah, mm -hmm. kind of revision. Okay. okay. But okay. conditional sentence type two is new for it's a new uh -huh. in the ninth grade, grade nine. Oh, thank you. That's why we are mentioning it right now. Ms. Let Sena. me first define the conditional sentences or the condition. Uh, it expresses that the action in the main clause uh, uh, can only take place uh, if a certain condition uh, will be ful fulfilled. Okay, yes. we have three types of the will conditional uh, sentences, yes. We are going to talk about the second Actually, type. Actually, before we move, let me just clarify something. Yeah. We mean by a clause, subject, subject and, and verb. verb. Yeah. Mm. The difference between a sentence and a clause, the mm. sentence has a subject and a verb, mm. and the clause has a subject okay. and a verb. But the sentence gives full meaning. Mm. Well, the clause doesn't stand alone. Mm. It needs more information. Mm. And in conditional sentences, we have two parts. We have the if part and, and the, the result way. part. If the clause and, and the main clause. Yeah, yes, the, the main clause, and I the meant main that, clause. Yeah. yes. You can say the main clause, you can say the result clause, you can say the subordinate mm -hmm. clause and the main clause. It's cause okay. and result. Cause and result. Mm. So if something happens or happened, something else would or will happen. We have type zero, we're not going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Type one, present and future. Type two, 
continue. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, concerning the second uh, type of the conditional sentences, mm -hmm. we use uh, if, if, if uh, plus uh, past simple, simple past. past, and in the second part we need would. We use plus would infinitive. plus infinitive. Yes, uh, we use it to talk about something unreal in the present or future. So yes. it's unlikely to be fulfilled. So the time is now or future, but we use the simple past to show that it is not true. Yeah, it's not, not real. real. Unreal. Unreal. Or, past. or something which is imagined. Mm. Imaginary issue, yes. yes. So not true, not real. Okay. Mm -hmm. For but example, the time is not past. Mm -hmm. The time is now, present, present or, future, or future, but we use the simple past with if to show that it's not real. Okay, for example, if I were the Prime Minister, I would build uh, houses for the homeless uh, people. Oh, please be it. Okay, yes, God, please willing. Be. God willing. <laughs> if I was a doctor, okay. I would treat people for free. Yeah. Actually, I'm not a doctor, and I'm not going to treat anyone. I, okay, let me read the, the form. If I had two million dollars, I would give you them. Give me just one million. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't have that amount of money, and I'm not going. So it's, it's unlikely, unreal. To, uh, unlikely to happen. Unreal, yes. if plus simple past. <laughs> and in the, and the second part would plus infinitive. If I had money, I would give you some. Uh, what would you do if you were rich? Here, if is in the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need to tell the students that we usually, if the word if, the conditional if is in the middle, no need for commas, although it's not wrong to mm -hmm. put it. But usually we don't put a comma when if is in the middle. But when if is at the beginning, we, we put, should put if. We separate the two clauses with a comma. Yes, we have an utopia here. We can use where with all pronouns. We also use it to give an advice. If I were you, I would tell the truth. So for advice, say if I were you, I would tell the truth. We use where, actually, we can use where with all pronouns, mm -hmm. although was is accepted as well. Mm -hmm. To give advice, Ms. Ms. Reem. So from the giving advice of, of uh, if I were you, to another kind of ad the giving advice, we can give an advice using why don't you. And uh, we can use should. And we can use should. Example, why don't you try doing exercise? Why don't you open the window to get fresh air? You should stop smoking. You shouldn't eat too much sugar. So we can give a positive or negative advice so using yes. these yes. two. To, mm -hmm. to yes. clarify something, Ms. Nisreen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next, for Mr. example, uh, I am not good at English. Mm -hmm. Mr. Majid will say, uh, why, don't, why, don't you? why don't you study? Mm -hmm. Or you should study. Why don't mm -hmm. you practice? Yes, why mm -hmm. don't you practice? Okay. The passive voice. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mazin Abdul Karim. Yes. The floor is yours. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Feel, feel free to talk about passive voice. Mm -hmm. I like it, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes. We usually use it when the subject is not known or not important mm -hmm. or the focus is on okay. the object. The object, yes. What stages we follow to change? Yes, we change the passive when the subject is not known. Not known, yes. Yes. Number not two, important. the subject is not Next that slide, important. Mr. Asha, please. The focus is on the object. Yes. How, How to, to change? change the passive? First, the object comes at the beginning of the sentence. Second, the object comes or becomes at the, the subject. Of the yes, it becomes the subject of the passive sentence. Actually, it takes the position of the subject, yes. but it is still the still object. The, object. Mm. the second, the main verb change it into the past participle. Or so we always have verb three. Third, we use verb to be as follows. So to summarize the, the rule, object plus B, and B here, it's according to the, uh, the, 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 the tense. Yes, in the, the sentence. And then we have the past the participle or past participle. verb with three. All, with, all with all tenses. So the object and the past participle, they don't change. Yes. Mm. We only change verb to be, to be according, according to, to the, the tense, tense yeah. of, yes. the active of the sentence. active sentence. Yes. In the present symbol. In the present symbol, we use am, um, is, are. Example, he eats apples, becomes in the passive. Apples are eaten. We can so say, we yes. 
if it is one apple it's one apple apple is, one apple is eaten yes. by him not a bean it is yes uh, note uh, when uh, the subject is definite we put it at the end of the sentence precedes uh, with by actually here it should be preceded sorry yes. for the grammatical mm. mistake yes. preceded oh. with by yes mm. we need to correct it yeah, okay Sammy is preceded, not preceded by. If someone is following us, <laughs> we know that it should be preceded, but mm, it's a printing it's mistake. Mm. Okay. Sammy eats apples, becomes apples are eaten by Sammy. In the past, symbol, we use was or, uh, was or was were. So in the present, am um, is are. are. In the past, yes. the same was, the same was, was, was or were. were. Example. He ate apples, becomes apples were eaten. Continue. I have something written. Mm -hmm. One is, have you ever heard about the conversation? Yes, we did. Uh, or yes, we have. Uh, something says that he thinks that nobody is, can understand. No, we know that you can understand. Sometimes we hope. We are very polite people. And we're here to help you. You are a grade nine. And uh, since we are very polite with you, we hope you respect us as your fathers and mothers. Hope so. Yes, <laughs> please. Uh, mm. Talk to us as if we were your dad or mom. If you talk to your dad or your mom in a way, mm. we accept it. Mm. Okay, from. someone asked uh, how the tense, uh, tenses come to the exam. Very. The tense, yes, Mr. Sure. The tense between the brackets, the student uh, should or must choose between two tenses according to the. And we have indicator. Yes, indicator. Mm -hmm. it's if it is yesterday, yes. and we have present and past, of course, so with yesterday we, we use yeah. past. Mm -hmm. If it is now or at the moment, so mm -hmm. according to the indicator, we choose the correct tense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. Yeah, continue. Yes, in the present and past continuous, we use being after verb to be. So the difference between the present symbol, uh, dear students, and the present continuous is just being. For example, he is eating apples, becomes apples are being eaten. So apples didn't change, yes. eaten didn't change, yes. only are being. Being to indicate that the, the active sentence is in the present continuous. Uh, he was eating apples, becomes apples were being eaten. In the present and past perfect, we use being after verb to have. I think uh, in the ninth grade, they don't have present perfect or past yeah, perfect yeah, in the passive. This is uh, in general. Yes. Uh, if they don't want to have an idea, it's OK just yes. to heed to what they have. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this is the passive voice in general as a grammar. Yes. Uh, even for teachers, they can, they can have benefit from yes. it. Uh, example, he has eaten apples, becomes apples have been eaten. The past perfect, he had eaten apples, becomes apples had been eaten. In the future tense, with models, we use be after the modal verb. So when we have model, and you know, dear students, dear colleagues, that uh, the models are can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, mm -hmm. might, must, have to, ought to. So whenever we have uh, a, a modal verb, any modal verb, the rule is uh, object plus the modal plus be plus verb three. Uh, example, he will eat apples, becomes apples will be eaten. He must eat apples, apples must be eaten. Thank you. Yes. Next, Ms. Risha. Passive with can, Ms. Sana. Okay, as uh, Mr. Abdul Karim uh, said before, generally speaking, uh, the passive with modal verbs uh, have the following form, object plus the modal verb plus uh, P plus verb three. Plus B. Okay, plus B, yes. Yeah. I said B. We, we don't want someone to say you mentioned it the wrong way. No. Uh, we can make passive with using can. For example, what can be reduced after a volcanic eruption? Can volcanic eruption, eruption be predicted? So after models, we use B. Mm -hmm. Can volcanic eruption be predicted? 
Okay, next Miss Rasha, Miss Nisreen is going to talk about question tags. Mm -hmm. The question tag is this short question at the end of the sentence, mm -hmm. which is tagged with the mm -hmm. uh, main sentence. Uh, it is not a question, uh, but it is something to make sure that we are talking about something which is correct. Yeah, sometimes so it is to used make like sure. this. Sometimes you know that it is correct, mm -hmm. and just you want... I want to emphasize. Emphasize, emphasize yes. that we are, uh, that it is correct. Yes. And now how to make a question tag? Uh, we have to depend on the auxiliary verb. Exactly. And if we don't have an so auxiliary verb... So we use the verb, same auxiliary. The if same. we don't have it in the simple present or simple past, so we use... So we uh, take help from verb to do, do, mm -hmm. does, or did for mm -hmm. the past. Mm -hmm. uh, another th important uh, idea is that if the uh, sentence was in the positive, so the tag should be... In the negative. In the negative. And uh, vice versa. Yes, and vice versa. Um, uh, that's how, it. how to make a question tag, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. if we have it in the sentence or we use do, as you mentioned. Yes. Next. Examples. Actually, just one thing it is mentioned here. Mm. The question tag must be contracted. Mm -hmm. We, for example, we cannot say, is it not? Uh, isn't, yeah, it? Isn't, isn't it? Isn't it or isn't it? Mm. Don't you? Mm. We don't say, do you not? Mm. Usually, the question so. tag is in the negative. Uh, and we have to uh, use uh, only uh, the subject uh, pronoun. Yes. Uh, we don't mention the, uh, the, the, na the name or the, the noun. Like, yes, the mm. pronoun, not the name. Mm. Ahmed is a doctor. We say, isn't he? Isn't he, not isn't Ahmed. Not isn't Thank Ahmed. you very much for saying So this saying is an important this. idea. Next, uh, Ms. Rasha. Mm -hmm. Examples. Question tag examples, yes. Mm. Uh, you have got the map haven't you? So here the auxiliary we verb. Also, we should uh, put comma, not uh, full stop. I'm sorry. It's uh, just uh, no printing. No yes. No yes. No, it's mm. okay. Comma it's is okay. okay. But the difference is with, if you put a full stop, it's capital. Mm -hmm. If you put a comma, it's small. Mm -hmm. So both no are problem. accepted. Yeah, yeah. It's no good, yes. Uh, so here the auxiliary is have. We said haven't you. Uh, it's very hot. Also, we use the auxiliary, which is mentioned. Isn't it? We are not late. Here the uh, main uh, sentence is, is negative. negative, so we use a positive tag. Are we? We won't come. The auxiliary is won't. Will you? She, uh, she's written a letter. A letter. She written a letter. Here the S is of course has because uh, the verb is in the past participle. So we said hasn't she? And this is an ambiguous question for the students. Mm. They need to know mm. if it is is or, or has, has, and it usually comes in the exam paper. Yes. They exam have to paper. look to the verb, yes. Mm -hmm. If the following verb Check is verb, verb three, mm. it's so it has. has. If it is verb ing, or a noun, or, or an adjective, adjective mm. or anything but not verb so three, it is verb, is. Yeah. So mm. it's only has when it is followed with verb three. And the rest is uh, verb to be. Uh, the last one, he isn't very smart, is he. Is he. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next, Ms. Tresha. We talked about reported talked speech. To we have wish. to skip it. Yeah. To skip it. To yeah. wish. We can skip the report speech yeah, to, to wish. wish. Yes. yes, thank you very much. Mm. Yeah. Whose turn? Yes. Your it's turn, it's Mr. My Mazin turn. Abdul Karim. I'm, I'm still mine. waiting. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Mazin Abdul Karim is the brother of uh, the actor, Mr. Zahir Abdul Karim. Yes. So <laughs> he, he is going to be more famous than his yeah. brother, maybe, well, in the future. I think so. Yes. God willing. Thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> okay. Uh, concerning wish, which is, wish is the opposite of the reality. Uh, so, for example, you cannot wish something you have. Of course. For example, uh, I have a mobile. I cannot say I wish I, I, had, have I had a mobile, mobile. because... I already have a mobile. We wish something different. Yes, it's opposite the reality. Yeah. Uh, if the real situation, if the real sentence is positive, the sentence with wish is negative, or something different from reality. So either negative or, or different yes, mm -hmm. from yes. real. Yes. The tense with wish goes one tense back. Like the conditional yeah, sentence, it's like, like reported speech. Like Sorry, reported speech. Mm -hmm. like, uh, like the reported present speech. becomes past, and the past becomes past perfect, or 
simple or continuous. Example, I'm late, becomes I wish I wasn't or I weren't late. Here also student, dear student, dear colleagues, uh, where goes, can be used. yes, can be used all with pronouns. all pronouns. Also, was, uh, is, not, is not wrong. Yes. I wish, or I wish I was, I were early. So you can use either the negative or you can change the sentence which is uh, to become opposite of the reality. I forgot about the meeting becomes I wish I hadn't forgotten about the meeting. Actually, maybe grade nine don't have the past perfect yes. now, nowadays, but it is in the rule. Uh, in general, the past becomes past perfect. We come to tenses. Mm -hmm. okay. In tenses, Miss Russia is going to be angry maybe because it is animated. Mm -hmm. Every next, we will see something in you. Yeah. Miss Sana, this is a revision for tenses. Yeah. Maybe students may, may say, yes. we, don't, we don't have it in the book, but we are going to revise the tenses for you. The simple present tense. Yes, simple present tense is the most basic tense in English. It uses verb one, and the only change is the addition of S to third person singular. They, they, we have a question. When are we going to have a session for the baccalaureate students? On Saturday. It's going to be next Tuesday. Mm. Tuesday? Next mm. Tuesday. Okay. This mm. is what I know. The 28th, maybe, right? 27. I'm not sure about the date, but I know that it is the following okay. Tuesday. Okay. Today is Tuesday. The following Tuesday is going to be for the baccalaureate. God willing, if it didn't change. Yes. Okay. Uh, the simple present tense is the most basic uh, tense in English. It uses the verb one. And uh, the only change is the addition of S to the third person singular. For example, I drink milk Ms. Russia, can every day. can you show day? us the following? words again next 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 thank okay. you thank you she drinks milk every day okay we use it to express habits facts feelings so we have subject so and we have verb one not yes. verb zero and we have the complement mm -hmm. we add s to the verb if the subject is he Singular. or she or yeah. it we mm -hmm. add es instead of s if the word ends in s s s s h c h x z and o for example, I finish, he finishes. I go, he goes. You yes. watch, he, she watches. We fix, he fixes. Thank you okay. so much. I, I want to uh, tell, the, tell, you, tell you about uh, my student always uh, ask me about the difference between verb one and verb zero. Mm -hmm. uh, because they said it's the same, but verb one is the one which we use with the simple present because we add S with he and she and it. That is why we say that it is verb yeah, one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So verb one mm -hmm. and verb zero are the same yes. with I, you, we, they. Mm -hmm. They are very similar. Yes. But it is different with he, she, it because we add S. Mm -hmm. And when we say we use verb zero, it means if the active of the, the first sentence mm. has an S mm. to the verb with he, she, it, so it is when we use one. an auxiliary, we go to verb zero, we delete the S, and mm. we go back to the base form. Base form, yes. The question form with Ms. Nasreen, we use to... The question form, uh, a general uh, idea is that we always have to use uh, auxiliary verb to make a question. Yes. So in the simple present, we use do or does, does for the he, uh, she or it. Uh, like, do you speak English? Do, do you, you have, have a car? car? Does he speak English here? Because the pronoun is he, so we use does. Uh, and does we put mm. speak with both you and he, because mm -hmm. we have an auxiliary. Mm. And uh, some teachers say the S went with does. It's not correct, mm. because can he mm. speak, mm. not can he speaks. Mm. Does is an auxiliary. Mm. When we have an auxiliary verb, we need to use the zero form. The zero the form. form, that is why. Always after uh, verb to do and uh, mo all the models, we use the zero form of the verb. And uh, sometimes we call it the infinitive. Infinitive, yes. Or pair infinitive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, sometimes uh, the best answer is the base form because yes. sometimes the infinitive has two. two. Yes. Wait. Mm. Next, Miss uh, Rasha. Not. The negative. 
مستر از این عدد کرد when you get a form is the same as you know the the question form so the in the question we have uh, do and does do and does also in the negative form we must have do and does example uh, i don't sorry the rule is subject plus uh, does plus not plus the infinitive plus complement uh, example i don't i don't speak english with he she it uh, he doesn't uh, have a car he doesn't speak english etc okay. uh, next miss resha the use the use the use the use uh, miss sana the okay. first use the first use is with habits habitual which means habitual actions mm -hmm. here we use adverbs of frequency such as always usually sometimes often never seldom generally rarely any adverb which okay. says something happens many times not just only one time yeah once twice three times frequently every day every week every month etc for example, it often rains Next in winter. Is, uh, I go to school every day. She sometimes play tennis. Mm -hmm. Again, next, Miss Nasreen. Yes. Facts. Uh, another use is uh, when we talk about facts, like the earth goes round the sun, we eat to live, uh, she is an author, so she wrote books. Here is a fact. Another thing, state verb. Uh, state verb Sometimes like you say see. involuntary. Involuntary means happen. Mm. Verbs happen without any interference by the subject. By the subject, Like yes. see, like hear. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, this is um, a sense, like uh, the verb with sense, see, hear. I see a bird, she hears my voice. We usually use the state verb in the present simple. Miss Rasha, I think we need a break now for before the present Let's continues. Say 10 minutes before we continue. Mm -hmm. uh, we will stop for 10 minutes. Please don't go away. We will be back after 10 minutes.